click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is three uh, hydrates and those were basically ionic hydrates, uh, they were basically covalent hydrates also known as molecular hydrates and now we are going to talk about the main uh, third uh, type of the hydrate and that is basically metal hydrates. So what are metal hydrates and what are the different properties of the metal hydrates let us talk about in this lecture. So talking about metal hydrates, metal hydrates are those hydrates where the hydrogen has been combined with that of the D block elements. So that's the reason that most of the D block elements are basically they could easily combine with that of the hydrogen atoms so as to form the metal hydrate. But also there are certain groups which are or certain groups in the D block element which are not been able to form that is hydrate. So talking with the first one that is the one which is not forming uh, uh, the hydrates and those are basically a group uh, six. Uh, in which basically except chromium uh, the no one uh, other element is the one that could form uh, that is hydrate but let me discuss about the group 7 so in this case basically suppose if I am talking about group 7 in which basically it is also known as uh, that is a manganese family so therefore that's the reason that um, the manganese group they don't form that is metal hydrides so talking about the another group also that is group 8 if I talk about so group 8 consists of basically iron as the first element that is iron and the other um, uh, elements belonging to the group will not form any kind of hydrates and they don't usually form hydrate and along with that of that is group 9 also is the one if I'm talking about then that is basically cobalt so they don't form hydrates so now let us uh, discuss about uh, the group 6 so as i have discussed earlier that is the group 6 is the one uh, which also not uh, will uh, that is uh, form hydrate except chromium so chromium is if we talk about so chromium has an uh, basically uh, an oxidation uh, number of plus 2 while the hydrates in which basically uh, in the previous section we have got to know that is hydrates are those in which basically hydrogen consists of a minus 1 oxidation state but the chromium hydrate is been Form uh, or it has been exhibiting uh, a molecular formula that is CH. So this CRH it declares that uh, the hydrogen uh, which is associated with uh, the chromium is only one. So let me talk about the group six elements in which I have said earlier that is the chromium is the one that would form uh, hydride. So here basically chromium along with that uh, hydrogen it forms chromium hydride. But we have discussed uh, earlier also that is the hydrogen is the one that is. Uh, exhibiting minus one uh, oxidation state but chromium is the one that could exhibit the multiple oxidation state that is plus one plus two and so on so here basically we could see that the chromium is forming a plus one oxidation state and here it is only one hydrogen so that's the reason that uh, the hydrogens that are been uh, forming uh, the metal hydrates especially when they are, they are bonded with uh, the d block elements are not in its stoichiometric uh, proportions that's the reason that metal hydrates are also known as non stoichiometric hydrates because uh, there are also certain hydrates which are not in a stoichiometric proportion and which uh, do not obey the uh, law of multiple proportions and then also those uh, metal hydrates are stable so let me talk about those uh, uh, metal hydrates which I have not uh, uh, stoichiometry they are not balanced with its stoichiometry and uh, suppose if we talk about that is titanium hydrate so in this case we see the titanium is combined with that of the hydrogen but uh, the stoichiometry is uh, somewhere around that is 1.8 and 2 I'll discuss on this and also there are various other uh, elements that are forming hydrides for example if we talk about uh, that is uh, ytterbium so ytterbium hydride and in this case basically it has been found to be that is 2.55 around so in this case basically we could see that uh, talking about the previous uh, hydrides that we have known that is if we talk about that is NaH that is sodium hydride we talked about that is potassium hydride so in this case basically uh, the hydrogen uh, the number of hydrogen and the uh, number of uh, the metal so they are in a stoichiometric proportions and in this case it is basically one is to one but in the case of that is uh, metallic hydrates they are not in a perfectly uh, stoichiometric value so that's the reason they are known as a non stoichiometric uh, uh, metal hydrates how do this kind of uh, hydrates are been formed it's been known that uh, uh, the d block elements because they are very uh, uh, 
highly uh, heavy weighted metals and uh, that is the reason that uh, they form crystal like structure and uh, those uh, crystal or those lattice of uh, this uh, d block elements uh, are uh, very much uh, very much precise and that's the reason that uh, while forming this kind of hydrides this hydrogen which is basically having a smaller atomic size so that occupies the lattice of uh, the uh, crystals of uh, this uh, like uh, titanium and ytterbium and so on so that's the reason that uh, the combination of uh, this hydrogen and this uh, metal forms metal hydrides and that is what uh, the hydrogen doesn't forms uh, a perfectly bond uh, with this metals and uh, that's the reason they are not in a stoichiometric value but this is also an advantage for the metal yes and that's the reason that if you observe that is a uh, rare nickel or platinum and palladium so these are those metals which have a capability to absorb the hydrogen so that's the reason that d block elements are used as catalyst and during a hydrogenation process also like platinum palladium so this have a uh, capacity to absorb uh, that is hydrogen and this is how uh, this property plays a very vital role in using as a catalyst so that is what i want to talk about uh, in this uh, topic but so let me talk about the other hydrides also like uh, if we say that is except uh, uh, we could say like uh, nickel hydride or except uh, that is a uh, palladium hydride and there are also certain uh, other hydrides like for cerium whenever the hydrogen occupies uh, the lattice actually changes and this kind of distortion takes place but in case of nickel and in case of uh, palladium and uh, cerium this kind of uh, distortion is not been observed so therefore these are the certain things that i want to talk about the metal hydrides Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know the various concepts behind the metal hydrides. So, thank you. And I hope you will share this video with your friends. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.